Allegiance. For the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty for all. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. For the vampires we watch, we so gallantly stream. And the rock is red, red, of a bursting in air. It proves you're still there. Oh, 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 say, does that star spangle? You may be seated. <laughs> presentation, and I would ask my assistant principal, Mr. Joe Cole, to please step to the podium. Honored to give a 2017 certificate of completion to Nolan Robert Kirby. member, Emma Seaslick, will share her opening comments this morning. Emma was involved with choir, NHS, Girl Scout, Gator Image, Yearbook, and Wives. All this while maintaining a 4.621 GPA. She will be attending Ball State University in the fall. Join me in welcoming Emma Seaslick. ceremony for Crystal Lake South High School's class of 2017. On behalf of myself and my peers, I would like to thank the faculty, friends, and family who have come to honor our accomplishments over these last four years, many of which would not have been possible without your daily support. And Mr. Shepard, who is here celebrating his first and last four-year class at CLS, I would like to thank you especially 
for always being there to offer those rousing words of encouragement over the intercom. <laughs> so let's give a round of applause to these individuals who have offered their unconditional encouragement for all of our dreams and cheered them on as we made them into reality. Seniors, this morning we are here to offer our most sincere congratulations for all you have accomplished over your last four years at CLS. Whether dazzling audiences at a production of Pippin, charging the goal line for a Gator touchdown, or simply finishing that last page of AP US History Notes by its due date, the goals we have set and fulfilled as a student here at CLS are those that we will cherish for a lifetime. It is here where we have learned responsibility, fraternity, and a sense of humor from the teachers who have taught us lessons applicable inside and outside of the classroom. But today, although a time to live in the moment is also a time to reflect on everything that has shaped how we have grown, the classmates and circumstances that have made us who we are, take a moment to reflect on how much of history we have witnessed and how it has changed our perception of the future. Over the last four years, we have lost Nelson Mandela, welcomed a royal baby, introduced the word selfie into the Oxford Dictionary, watched the Supreme Court legalize gay marriage, celebrated the success of fuel reuse with SpaceX, witnessed the election of a new British Prime Minister, and written voting to lead the European Union cheered on the final five to Olympic gold, cried for Ailan Kurdi, a Syrian boy whose heartbreaking portrait personified the life and death struggle of refugees and witnessed a bitter presidential race painted by leaked emails and fake news. And two, marching for presidential accountability and parading a team that finally ended a 108 World Series championship drought. <laughs> We have been shaped by what we have witnessed, the stories that will define, define what we fight for in the future and how we will wage the battle. But today, whilst the culmination of all that has occurred over our last four years at CLS is also the first tentative step into the future, today, all of us cherish the memories that we have made here at our beloved high school and commit ourselves to the task of making new ones. Today, we venture into the world as adults, except for the select few who, like me, are still 17 and still have driving restrictions. <laughs> Today, we not only welcome our loved ones to this important ceremony, but also bid farewell to the peers who have made this experience one worth having. So, as I welcome you all to this hallowed ceremony in celebration of our academic and extracurricular excellence, I also bid you a fond farewell knowing that you all have bright and fulfilling futures ahead of you. So let's hear it once more for the class of 2017, the students who have been shaped by a succession of momentous historical moments and who aim to make many more in the future. Thank you. I would invite the senior band members to join Mr. Halberstadt and the CLS band conducted by senior drum major John Janicek to play their last song. Jacob Janicek. <laughs>
Thank you. 
This morning, it is also my privilege to introduce our salutatory. She has been involved in the Science Olympiad, Scholastic Bowl, Math Team, and served on the theater crew. She is one of two students in this class to have a perfect score of a 36 on the ACT. She is also a National Merit Scholarship winner, and she has a GPA of 4.734. She will attend the University of Minnesota. Please join me in welcoming the 2017 salutatorian, Teresa Fisher. Good morning, everyone. Students, staff, faculty, and families. To those of you out there who are not students, thank you for being in attendance today in support of us students, and thank you for all of your support in general as each of us has made their way to this day. To my fellow students, how are you feeling today? Personally, I'm excited and tired. It's been a long four years. When I reflected on those years as I wrote this speech, I was struck with how similar the high school experience is to the planet Mars. They are both cold and desolate places with weird water. <laughs> but seriously, folks, this speech is subtitled What High School Has in Common with the Mars Programs for a Reason, the Rovers. As I racked my brain for a topic, the word opportunity echoed in my thoughts. Spirit, opportunity, phoenix, curiosity. In a way, the four years of a high school experience can be found in four of our Mars rovers. First, spirit. Freshman year, fresh young faces, fresh out of middle school. Freshman year was our first experience with pep rallies and strong school spirit. So much of freshman year was full of the energy and excitement of a new environment and a new learning experience. The next rover launch was opportunity, corresponding with sophomore year, and that was the connection that really inspired the speech in the first place. Sophomore year was the year that everyone really began to take the opportunities to find where they really belonged. We felt comfortable enough in high school to start taking risks and trying new things. For example, sophomore year was the year I joined WISE and CLS Theater, two of my favorite activities I've done in my time at South. The year of 2015 to 2016 was our junior year, represented by the Mars Rover, Phoenix. It was the year we were all reborn from the ashes of sophomore year and transformed into upperclassmen. As juniors, we began to develop into the people we are today. We knew more or less where we fit, so we were able to grow as individuals into the goals and personalities we have now. And now we finish our senior year, and I focus on the rover Curiosity. We were all old enough to recognize the significance of curiosity of landing on Mars when it happened in middle school, the summer before eighth grade. Even if space wasn't your thing, everyone was talking about it. Curiosity represents our senior year, and this past year has been all about the future, about having the courage and the curiosity to explore possible futures until the right fit comes along. We asked, what am I curious about? What have I been curious about? Can you all of my classes this year were things I found interesting, but not essential to my high school experience. But I wouldn't have done senior year any way other than with the classes I was curious about. So here's the bottom line. Throughout our time in high school, there has been a constant chant from the administration. Get involved. Get involved. I sincerely hope that each of you heeded that suggestion and took the opportunity to explore something you were curious about. And if you haven't yet, that you will as you move forward in life. Reaching for new horizons and broadening the possibilities of the human experience has been the ultimate goals of the Mars program, goals for which I believe we can all personally strive. And so I leave you with the words of the first woman on Mars, Ms. Valerie Frizzle. Take chances, make mistakes, and get messy. Thank you. Now I invite the senior choir members to join Mr. Coco and the choir to sing their last song. Where did I stand? Seniors are up front. Okay. Should I be up? Is there a guy side? Oh, okay. 
Our valedictorian has participated in the math team, band, she performed in the All-State Pit Orchestra, and the Y team. She is a member of the NHS and is a Girl Scout Gold Award winner. With a 4.861 GPA, she ranks number one in her class and will attend Stanford University. Please join me in welcoming the 2017 valedictorian, Melissa Maribel. I've always found 
found learning to be most memorable and enjoyable when set to music. Because I can't play the flute and speak at the same time, and you don't want to listen to me sing, trust me, I've invited some fellow thespians who can sing to accompany me. Even early in our education, information was set to music. Let's head back to the very beginning. A, B, C. One, two, three. When we entered middle school, our goals began to diverge. Some of us became focused on our social status. Popular, you're gonna be popular. While others on sports, you gotta get your, get your head in the game. And still others on academics. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. <laughs> Some of us even tried to do them all. Most of us hit puberty, and some of us began thinking about dating. And I, I will always love. I think that song forgot to mention that always means two weeks in middle school lingo. <laughs> then we entered high school in 2013 and learned that it's not all like high school musical. I mean, people don't just randomly break out into song. Although we probably all did break out into song at the end of our winter breaks, freshman and sophomore years. And it wasn't because we were going back to school. Both years, we had the bonus of cold days being added to our winter breaks. The snow glows white on the swamp today, not a student to be seen. <laughs> Why this year, the year we are graduating, the year where we don't have to make up snow or cold days, we didn't get a single one. <laughs> Who says life is fair? <laughs> we have all gone through some small bumps in the road. Unfortunately, some of us have experienced major life changes and losses. These can become even more overwhelming when combined with the stress of keeping up with all that we're expected to do, including jobs, academics, extracurriculars, and family and religious obligations. The dreaded standardized testing junior year only added to our stress. We are the last class whose college entrance exam is the ACT, which spells out ACT. And I guess that makes sense, given that our class is ruled by the theater cult. There's no people like show people. After the ACT, or ACT, our next major hurdle was determining what we'd like to do with our futures. For many of us, this means heading off to college in the fall. Others will be joining the workforce or a branch of the military. We're being pulled in a new direction. And I hope we all like it. Through high school, we've learned that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Despite our challenges, we made it to today, thanks to the help of friends, family, and staff. We all need somebody to lean on. I've leaned heavily on a number of faculty this past year for guidance and support. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. How can I give you life advice when I have no more life experience than anyone else graduating? This is where the dramatic music would start if this were part of a movie. La, 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 la. I'm going to draw advice from a speech by late Carnegie Mellon professor Randy Pausch titled The Last Lecture. His lecture, which was given just months before he passed, reminds us 
that we are all going to face obstacles. He urges us to continue to pursue what we want most despite these obstacles. Randy Pausch said, the brick walls are there for a reason. The brick walls are not there to keep us out. The brick walls are there to give us a chance to show how badly we want something. Actively pursue your dreams, question the negative responses, fight for what you believe in, and most importantly, don't give up doing what you love. We know anything can happen if we let it. I mean, look, the Cubs broke the 108-year curse winning the World Series. Go Cubs, go. Go Cubs, go. Hey, Chicago, what do you say? The Cubs are gonna win today. Our futures are wide open with endless possibilities. There are so many unanswered questions. Let the unknown inspire you. Embrace all of life's unknowns and unanswered questions as opportunities. At the same time, don't be so worried about what you're going to do that you can't enjoy what you're doing. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you have the time of your life. Let's all thank Matt Stewart, Trevor Squires, Shelby Taylor, and Maya Patel for saving us from having to listen to me sing. We did it. Congratulations, Crystal Lake South, class of 2017. See you later, alligators. administration and staff, I would like to welcome each of you to the 2017 graduation ceremony. It is my privilege to also welcome Assistant Superintendent Jeremy Davis, our Curriculum Director and Assessment Director Neil Lazinski, Board Members Dave Seacrest and Rosemary Kurtz. Also on stage is my Assistant Principal Joe Cole and our Dean Sean Scotty and Sean Levitt. And I do just want to take a moment, Sean Levitt's going to be taking a year off. Uh, this next year and will not be a dean here at South. He's been doing that job for 14 years, uh, and that is sometimes a thankless job, but he keeps our students safe, and I just want to publicly acknowledge that he's a great friend and has done an awesome job for our kids. Thank you, Mr. Levitt. <laughs> also on the stage with me is our student services coordinator, Josh Mobilio. And he will be the principal here at Crystal Lake South next year, and I want to congratulate him on that all. <laughs> I want to thank my division leaders for their leadership throughout the year. I want to thank our support staff, specifically my assistant Stacey Faber, and the class sponsors Jay Weeks and Bill Wynn for the organization of this event today. I also want to thank the Bucci Club and Bar Nursery for their donations, time, and decorations. And I can't leave out our custodial staff that set up everything early this morning. It looks great, and it is awesome to be outside. Here. As the Crystal Lake South principal, I have been blessed to work with a great staff a great administrative team and support uh, staff that is incredible. This team has worked hard to provide a great education for these students. I believe that we are blessed to have a great teaching staff that truly does care about the kids. If you are a D155 Chris Lake staff member or board member, please rise and be recognized at this time. Thank you for making CLS a great place for these students to get their education. 
We come together this afternoon to honor these graduates for their accomplishments over the past 13 years. I would like to congratulate and thank the parents of the 2017 graduates. Thank you for your support of your sons and daughters and your support of this school. To the graduates, four years ago, we entered this great facility as nervous ninth graders and a nervous principal moving into a new position. Not knowing what to expect, but yet today we celebrate the awesome accomplishments of this class over the past four years. One of my favorite traditions that we started in this time, the pep band would lead our state qualifiers through the halls before they left for an event. We again had a high number of state marches, including cross country, gymnastics, tennis, swimming, girls and boys state track, and actually two of our boys are competing right now as we speak at the state track meet. We wish them a ton of luck. We also honored all state band and choir members, the YS team, the math team, and that's just to name a few. I'm sure I missed a few along the way. This afternoon, our baseball team will compete in the regional championships. Good luck, boys. Class of 2017 will be the last class to take the ACT as the requ required state test. You've heard that a couple of times, you'll probably hear a couple more. They would also will finish with the highest average in school history. Congratulations, class of 2017. We had over 50 students sitting before you today that scored a 30, 30 or higher on the ACT, including the two perfect 36s. 90% of these students are going to go on to a two or four year college university receiving over two and a half million dollars in scholarships. This year we had a thou over a thousand AP tests taken by CLS students, which is nearly triple of that from four years ago. We also have students and families making the decision to join the armed forces. I would ask that all graduates joining the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, or Coast Guard, or the ROTC program in college, please stand at this time. We thank you for your service to our country and choosing to defend our freedoms. And I believe there's also a couple of class uh, mates that are already serving that early graduated in December, December and we keep them in our thoughts and prayers. At this time, on this Memorial Day weekend, would you please join me in just a moment of silence for those that did make the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. Thank you. Thank you. Along with these, Along with these great athletic, athletic accomplishments, this class has put in countless volunteer hours in, in our community to support for, excuse me, to support many causes, but most notably the various fundraisers for cancer research and our blood drives in the Great Veterans Day program. Our NHS members who are wearing a special medallion today have completed over 3,000 hours of service to our community along with raising over $3,000 for cancer research and local family support. They also donated over 35 boxes of items to local homeless veterans. They donated over 120 units of blood this past year, enough to help 350 lives. We had 12 seniors who received red cord, which signified that they gave six or more units of blood in their high school years. It is my hope that each of you would take the things that you've learned from your experience here at CLS and that through hard work and discipline, you will accomplish many great things throughout your lives. Many of you were part of the Avedum group that has supported our student body in the past four years, and all of you have received positive notes and encouragement from that group. While looking out here at the number of people that are here to support you on this day and in your future, you need to always remember the words that they pasted around our building throughout the years. You are loved. Good luck to each of you in your future endeavors. At this time, it is my privilege to introduce our District 155 Board of Education representative, Dave Seacrest.
Good morning, all. Thank you, Mr. Shepard. Usually, I ask that the deans take responsibility for the weather, but this year I personally took responsibility for the weather. Because I'm sheriff of everything. Do we have another big round of applause for our student speakers? As always, they did a tremendous job. It's obvious to me they put the best speakers on first and you get what's left over. So. Uh, and I also noted too that when Emma spoke and when they were mentioned another time, the Cubs got the biggest round of applause. <laughs> she mentioned all the historic events that have happened in the last four years and, and the one that everybody resonated with was the Cubs. That's interesting to me. So. When I was asked to speak, I was of course very proud, but then I started to think, what should I say? And I thought, well, it's the class of 2017's graduation, so why not let them decide? So this morning I prepared two talks. One's about five minutes long. The other one, which extols the virtues of education and the philosophy of life, that's about 45 minutes long. So which one do you think I should give? The five minutes or the 45? Really? <laughs> Seriously, though, on behalf of myself, my fellow board members, including Mrs. Rosemary Kurtz, who's with us today, Superintendent Dr. John Thomas, Assistant Superintendent Jeremy Davis, uh, Director of Curriculum Neil Lazinski, uh, the entire 155 staff and the CLS community, we all congratulate you, the class of 2017. <laughs> With your graduation today, you've reached a milestone in life, an accomplishment in which you can take great pride. You have, for the past four years, prepared yourself to, for the next step. In doing so, you've created countless memories and made friendships with people who will last the rest of your lives. As a school board member, I'd be remiss if I did not also share with you the fact that you're indeed graduating from one of the premier high schools and school districts in the state. This success is best evidenced by all of you. If we tried to list all the honors, achievements, and awards earned by the class of 2017, we'd be here much, much of the rest of the day. Indeed, your class has earned some two and a half million. That's two and a half million dollars in grants, awards, and scholarships. including full tuition scholarships based on merit. Your class has 67 Illinois State Scholars, seven individual national merit recognition individuals, one national merit finalist, and two students, as has been noted, with perfect ACT scores. <coughs> Suffice it to say that you and your fellow District 155 graduates, there are 1,200 graduating today from Central, Prairie Ridge, and Cary Grove, along with over 400 here at, at uh, South, have a constantly achieved at or near the top of all schools, schools and students in the state and indeed the country. This fact has been recognized by the Washington Post when it placed South on its list of America's most challenging high schools. This success is not an accident. The credit belongs to all District 155 personnel, but mainly to the dedicated teachers and to you, the students. Collectively, you have demanded to learn and excel, and indeed you have. As a school board member, I salute you and your teachers, most of whom are here today, on preparing the class for its move to the next level. The word commencement means a new beginning. And in addition to your graduation today, uh, we're marking kind of another passing that's been referred to. Mr. Scott Shepard, who has been the principal of this group for the past four years, and the principal of South for the same amount of time, is moving on to a position of assistant superintendent with the district. And Mr. <coughs> Josh Navilio, who has been director of, of student services here, will be the new principal at South High School. I'd like us to offer our congratulations to both Scott and Neil and wish them well in their new job. <laughs> the 
There's also another very special group here today that deserves our congratulations and most especially your thanks. They too have put in countless hours over the year, helping with homework, driving to practices, attending games and plays and musicals, or working as boosters. They are, of course, your family. Let's see how many grandparents who've helped raise two generations of teenagers are with us today. Grandparents? How about great-grandparents? There's no need for you to stand. You've raised three generations of teenagers. You've earned the right just to wave and say hello. Finally, and most important, your parents. I suspect that many of them have spent some time this week looking back. And while most of those thoughts are personal, I'm sure they center on remembering. Could it be that many years ago that you started to walk and talk and headed off to kindergarten? There were vacations and dance lessons, recitals, tryouts for plays, musicals, practices, trips to the game, dates, dances, and prom dances. There have been times they thought this day would never get here. Now that it is here, they wish perhaps it could be delayed a bit longer. Today, your parents are very happy, a little emotional, somewhat apprehensive, but most of all, very, very proud. And remember, unless you're asking for money, they will always be there for you. <laughs> will all of the parents of the 2000 graduating class, please stand and be recognized. As graduates, please remember to give them a big hug and a thank you for their support over the past four years. I'm also aware that some parents couldn't be here today and that some of you have lost a parent while here. So, I know your thoughts are with them today and we too honor their important place in your lives. Back before you were all born, and back to before most of your parents were born, there was a movie called The Graduate. In one scene that, at a graduation party, the graduate is confronted by an overbearing neighbor who employs him to remember, employs him to remember one word, classics, which the overbearing neighbor believed was the future. Well, as an overbearing school board member, I implore you to also remember one word, technology. While here at South, you have studied and learned today's ever fast changing world of mobile technologies, using the likes of Chromebooks and Nexus tablets, 3D printers, and storing information on something called the cloud. I have no idea what that is. But I was so <laughs> These tools, while commonplace today, were unknown just a few short years ago. During your lifetime, educational technology has advanced in the age of chalkboard, something I do know something about, to the dry erase and smart boards and today's electronic and very mobile technologies. Smartphones with more capacity than the first uh, computers are connecting the peoples of the world. Learning is, never, is a never-ending process. We are told that 60% of the jobs that you will be looking at are better prepared to take on the future than those who have gone before you. Graduates, you are the future. So no matter if you're going on to school, joining the workforce, force, or joining the military to serve our country, I believe that your generation will lead the way solving many of these challenges using the technology and education for good. You are ready. For you, the future is boundless. Take advantage of the opportunities that these times present. It is said that life is a journey and that you won't always know what lies ahead. And while the road you travel will have its bumps and at times unexpected challenges, you are well prepared to meet those challenges. But also take time to enjoy. And, and don't lose sight of the truly important things in life. Be true to your friends, be true to your families, but most of all, be true to yourself, and your journey will become your destination. Again, congratulations to the class of 2017 on a job very well done, and the best to each of you in the future. And remember, 
You will always be a CLS leader, and you will always be welcome here at South. Thank you. I would like to introduce Ms. Rosemary Kurtz to have two short remarks. Good morning. It's great to be back at South High School again. Um, I was, I'm Rosemary Kurtz, and I'm on the school board. But more importantly, I was one of the first faculty members of in the new building at South High School in 1978. That goes back a long time, 39 years to be exact. This, but that means that we, these teachers and I, had the good experience of uh, teaching a lot of your parents who may have graduated, say, parents and memories of the original faculty, such as Mr. Fonkuk and Mrs. O'Berry, who chose to leave Central and carry to come, become a part of the new dynamic South High School. It was dynamic also because of its first principal, Ken Broom, who was sitting in his stadium right now. Um, he was, um, after seven years of trial and error, uh, he became the most respected of all individuals, uh, beloved and respected by students and teachers, but also by parents. It was the year 1985, and the Bears were going to the Super Bowl. What better gesture from the parents or for the parents than to raise enough money to send Ken and his wife to the Super Bowl also? But the most fond memories are my, of my students, and I'm constantly reminded of them when I read the paper and see how they are serving their community. Some of these former students are teachers and coaches in our four high schools. And a good example of that is um, uh, Meg Sherman Gay. Let me... <laughs> yeah, I'm coach. And our math teacher. Um, let me, but let me conclude with how proud I am of another student, Adam Gus. He was elected to your school board two years ago and proved himself to the point that we elected him president just this month, president of your school board. Our society desperately needs dedicated people in government who perform uh, public service like Adam is. Lastly and most importantly to you, the class of 2017, may you continue in your good work to realize your dreams and to never forget the importance of con contributing to your community. And may the force be with you. mentioned a few times this morning, we have one more person that we need to recognize and congratulate today, Mr. Shepard. He too is taking that next step and following his dreams and goals just as you graduates. Mr. Shepard will be serving the students and community of District 155 as the Assistant Superintendent of Educational Services next year. We will miss his leadership, his dedication, and passion for students and seeing them succeed, not only in the classroom, but on the stage, athletic field, place of employment, and military. Mr. Shepard has truly become a Gator in the four short years he's been with us. On behalf of the students, staff, and Gator community, we say thank you, Scott, and we're going to miss you. Four years ago when I took this job, Joe Cole said, I'll take care of all the details, just don't make me speak. 
So I got into the microphone twice. That graduation, major accomplishment. But thank you, and uh, let's get this program back to where it's supposed to be, and that's the students. <laughs> Members of the Board of Education, faculty, parents, and guests, it is with great pride that I declare that these members of the class of 2017 of Crystal Lake South High School have fulfilled the requirements set forth by the state of Illinois in Community High School District 155. We will now present the diplomas. <laughs> diplomas will be presented by our Board of Education. Staff members reading the graduates' names this afternoon will be Renee Kaczynski, Scott Busom, Jim Kroll, and Chris Stroker. Andrew, Andrew Xavier, Xavier Addison. Addison. Amena, Mario, Joshua, Cole Albright. Alexander Lewis Aldridge. Armin Alabasic. Daniel Omid Amin. Samantha K. Anderson. Rachel Alyssa Anklum. Rebecca Allison. Ankle. Jackson Paul Applequist. <laughs> Naomi Remedios Arevola. Jordan Caitlin Armstrong Love. Brennan Daniel Okay. Abigail, Abigail Carmel, Carmel Austin, Austin. Haley, Haley Jordan, Jordan Avella, Avella. Okay. Kyle Daniel Bobetti Anthony David Bayano Brittany Georgiana Baker. Adam Bellwender. Aaliyah Shea Baldazzo. Tyler John Belusic. Chase Carl Barnabelle. Robert Randall Barton. <laughs> Juniper Liliana Baby. <laughs> Nicole Jordan Beck. <laughs> Matthew Russell Becker. <laughs> Joel Adam Bennett. Zachary Ryan Bernard. Monica Degunska. Damon Anthony Fish. Zachary Parks Bishop. Dominic Jordan Bolanos. David Allen Borum. 
Craig Anthony Basler. Rutu Brambach. Griffin R.J. Brecht. Dorian Parker Britton. Desmond Brock. Brittany Suzanne Brown. Juliana Lynn Brown. Caitlin Lee Brzezini. Daniela Camilla Bucio. Jacqueline Victoria Buckley. Connor James Buckner. Joanna Deshay Buckner. Samantha Nicole Burgard. Charlie Caroline Burgess. Ashley Dawn Burke. Joseph Dominic Bouchain. Lauren Nicole Payne. Paige Joyce Callahan. Oscar Cardoso. Holly Grace Carlson. Eduardo Carmona. <laughs> Hannah Michelle Carroll. <laughs> Daniel Mauricio Casablanco. <laughs> Maria Paula Casablanco. <laughs> Anthony Castro. Drew Mitchell Cox. Taylor Christine Chamberlain. Connor Joseph Chappelle. Brent Alexander Dell. Emma Olivia Cecil. Katie Eileen Cesadmo. Michael Andre Contreras. Dylan Michael Cook. Aaron Rose Cook. Michael Thomas Corcoran. Colin. Dennis Cronin. <laughs> Emily May Sear. Yeah! Jack Connor Sakowski. <laughs> Dominic Joseph Diamico. <laughs> Madison June Shaw. <laughs> Alan Janelle David. Emily Ann DeVore. James Peter Del Vecchio. Danielle Nicole De La Hunty. Adrian Lee De Leon Jr. Maya Rose Delgado. Dylan Jacob Devine. Daniel Jordan Diaz. Nicholas Angel Diaz. Lauren Helen Dick. Claire Emma Dickel. 
Ryan Christopher Dodash. Trevor David Dockey. Matthew Jason Dora. Ryan Thomas Downey. Jack Curtis Drexler. Nicholas Randolph Dudgeon. Michael Lucas Dunham. Isabella Celsa Duran. Vince Ray Ish. Nicole Noel Edwards. Andrew David Angleton. Kayla Ashley Epperson. Maya Tita. Noriomi Fabella. Jesse Ann Farley. Megan Julia Feta. Eugene Parker Felix. James Francis Felix. Chase Stewart Pilkins. <laughs> Teresa Lynn Fisher. <laughs> Margaret Mary Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Austin Tyler Fleener. <laughs> Amanda Anita Palmer. Vincent Daniel Fontanetta. Harrison John Foreman. Alexander James Foyle. Miles Emrys Foyle. Ryan Michael Francovic. Daniel Hillard Frank. Yeah! Taylor Colleen Frankie. Yeah! Kylie Lynn Frederick. Yeah! Brian Anthony Fuentes Reyes. Yeah! Kelly Marie Gaby. Alyssa Nicole Gajewski. Jack Scott Galloway. Tyler James Gardner. Jacob Richard Gates. Abigail Marie Goregi. Samantha Josephine Geenan. Matthew Ryan Giangrande. Kaylee Marie Jufre. Rebecca Gluck. Alexandra Danielle Gorski. <laughs> Kathleen Victoria Gorski. <laughs> Andrew Mark Grabowski. <laughs> Sydney Danielle Grassley. <laughs> Julia Marie Gravel. Adam Jacob Greenfield. <laughs> Leah Danielle Gunlack. <laughs> Megan Lee Gerba.
Megan Elizabeth Hanna. Brandon Matthew Arises. Francisco Lee Harper Jr. Claire Elizabeth Hartman. Jacob David Hausch. Eric Ryan Helm. Bridget Claire Harity. Shannon Carol Harity. David Hernandez. Kyle Jesse Hernandez. Emma Claire Hill. Cheyenne Alexa Hoffman. Seth Ryder Hogue. Kayla Elaine Hovey. Patrick Ryan Hubbard. Nicholas Kane Hubner. Mackenzie Ann Hunter. Quentin Samuel Hunter. Soha Hawk. Victoria Grace Hewson. David April Marie Hutton. Lindsay Ann Jackson. Jacob Aaron Janicek. John Henry Janicek. Amanda Lynn Jenkins. Matthew Christopher Johnson. Trevor Eric Johnson. Kiara Skylily Johnston. Jessica Meredith Jocelyn. Taylor Ann Josephowitz. Thomas Stephen Kemmerer. Jacob Michael Colossa. Mia Grace Kalinsky. Matthew Michael Kapka. Kyan Casey. Benjamin Alexander Castle. Melissa Sophia Kudrowski. Taylor Ray Keegan. Alexis Nicole Kelly. Austin Jacob Plugowitz. Anna Denker Koenig. Leah Nicholas Koenig. Alexander Joseph Camro. <laughs> Elisa Johanna Passoff. <laughs> Joseph Warren Kobeck. <laughs> Ryan Matthew Krausen. <laughs> Carolyn Marie Kresge. <laughs> Kayla Nicole Krupp. Vanessa Joy Kubiak. Zachary Allen Cubitz. Mark Robert Cusera. Brent Stephen Kwasaborski. Matthew Candia Lancero. Elena Isabel Landeros. Adrian Edith Lashbrook. David John Lasso. 
Anne-Marie Karen Lavarada. Carl Maureen Lantine. Vincent Michael Lester. Anne Renee Lewandowski. Corey Michael Lidman. Brina Rose Linney. Matthew Ryan Leota. Lucas Nathan Libert. Ashley Michelle Little. Emma Elizabeth Lloyd Midas. Alyssa Guadalupe Lopez. Brianna Michelle Lopresti. Zachary William Lociavo. Adam Ben Lucas. Thompson Lee. Tyler Ryan Lyons. Michaela Kears Madden. Matthew Peter Magara. Julia Rose Magana. Cheyenne Akeith Malik. Melissa Renee Marable. Lucas Michael Marchuka. Peyton Lynn Martins. John Manuel Martinez. Anna Jill Mason. Grace Nancy Massat. Christopher Gabriel Matsumoto. Rithika Madden. Joseph Allen Long. Brandon Michael Mazafero. Marie Miller, 
Christian Anthony Mishoda. Peter Randall Belizos, not in attendance due to participation in the state track competition. <laughs> Anna Rose Potter. Zachary Michael Porsche. <laughs> Madison Nicole Howell. Benjamin Jeffrey Price. Jordan Nicole Prozinia. Jonathan Stephen Cruz. Not in attendance due to participation in the state track competition. Jaden Ray Quick. Miller. Dwight Rodney. Patrick Martin Rainey. <laughs> Hannah Margaret Rakowski. <laughs> Giselle Ebony Ramos. <laughs> Alicia Marie Rasmussen. <laughs> Gabrielle Marie Reamer. Rose Reese, Kristen Jean Wright, Jason Paul Ryman, Emily Marie Rennick, Joseph Michael Reese. Brian Vidal Rivas. Tyler James Rizzo. Amanda Renee Rodriguez. Alexis Dominique Rolls. Alyssa Marie Romano. Robin Marie Roney. <laughs> Jenna Catherine Ross. Miguel Alonso Ruiz. Zachary Ethan Rolf. Ethan Allen Riza. Holly Lynn Salem. Yeah, Alyssa Marie Saul. Yes, yeah. Anthony Joseph Sabuda. Yeah. Nicole Rose Sabuto. Yeah. Stephen Curtis Sargent. Nadia Fernanda Salcedo. Samantha Lynn Shettle. Jessica Selma Schoenfeld. Harmon Ray Sina. Jeffrey Lewis Sagru. Lauren Elise Seidenzall. Rebecca Ann Seidenzall. Courtney Elizabeth Sengstock. Annika K. Sebson. Haley Jordan Seward. Mackenzie Diane Seidlitz. Sehul B. Shah. <laughs> Chloe Louise Shireman. 
Mason Short. Andrew David Zdorowicz. Lara Kimberly Silva. Rachel Jessica Simon. Edward Joseph Siroyes. Samuel Timmins Sisler. Joseph Allen Swangy. Jacob Thomas Smorecki. Hannah Zelly Ruth Smith. Jason Trevor Smith. Madison Maureen Smith. Trevor Gregory Squires. Mark Andrew Stanley. Tyler Patrick Stark. Jonathan Thomas Stasia. Dakota Jerome Brock Steele. Fairlight Pontesina Steinberg. Hayden John Stelton. Mackenzie Elizabeth Stevens. Matthew Lennon Stewart. Andrew William Strip. Noah David Sulk. Ryan Farrell Sullivan. Tammy Sullivan. Michael Dwayne Swatley. Ethan Andrew Tarlow. Shelby Ann Taylor. Dominique Marie Terry. Daniel John Thomas. Nicholas Frederick Tome. Monica May Thompson. Ripley Marie Thompson. Annalisa Gina Toniolo. Tyler George Topolinski. Spencer Joseph Traub. Alexis Marie Trinidad. Liam Edward Ufile. Elizabeth L. Van Dyke. <laughs> Melissa Elise Von Bianen. <laughs> Melody K. Voss. Uja <laughs> Venkatesh. James Joseph Walklaw. Joseph Robert Wadrowski. Catherine Danielle Walker. Kelly Amber Wolovich. Michael Patrick Walsh. Nicholas Joseph Carl Wenger. Emily Claire Warren. Erin Young Watkins. Sarah Faye Wensloff. Jake Philip Mirzma. Garrett Richard Weiss.
Jack Duncan Williams. Ryan Everett Williams. Jordan Hope Wilson. Brianna Jean Winder. Ryan James Wolf. Joanna Teresa Wolschlager. Nicholas Clarence Wolski. Courtney Elizabeth Wosick. Anna Rose Rock. Annie Elizabeth Weist. Nathaniel George Zacker. Shinesy Elise Zayas. Nicole Zimmerman. At this time, I would call Senior Class Representative Hannah Carroll and Student Council Rep Alicia Rasmussen for the front of the class. Class, if you would please stand. Congratulations, class, and I invite you to the presidents of the lead of the class and attorney of the past. You may be seated. This time, I would invite Nicholas Cohn, who will now come and give a farewell speech. Nick has a 4.701 GPA and will attend Stevens Institute of Technology in New Jersey in the fall. So we've made it. May 27th. Graduation day. The end of the football game, the pep rally, the classes, and the infamous day. There's so much we are moving past, it's hard not to be at least a little bit nostalgic. However, there is one thing that will certainly never lose from the school, the bond. The friends we've made, be it in the classroom, the field, the court, the stage, or the community, with fellow classmates or with teachers, have made these four years the most memorable. These people almost make waking up for school at 7.25, except on Mondays, barrel. Keyword, almost. These wonderful people we've chosen to surround ourselves with have inspired us to learn from and teach others in the future. This is why we'll never truly be done with school. Life's an education with new learning targets day by day. In these coming years, we will continue to learn from our students in the road where we just cannot understand the lessons life is trying to throw at us, we'll always have our family here in the swamp to fall back on. No matter the aspirations we all have from becoming the President of the United States, vote McCone 2041, Woo! Uh, to coming back here to return the favor as a teacher, we can all achieve these things with the help of our CLS community. But you don't need me to tell you that. You have your friends, family, and school faculty to do so. So as we prepare for one final show of gratitude to all of these people who have taught us how to live our, our lives to the fullest, let us lift our caps in celebration. Oh, and one last thing. 
Go Gators! As we dismiss today, I would ask that we please clear the gate entrance and keep the sidewalk clear. Parents and grandparents, friends, family, if you can help us out. We need to get the graduates back into the building to get their diplomas and then they can meet you back out front, front for some great pictures. Seniors, please stand. I want to congratulate the class of 2017. And as we started the year this year talking about resiliency, I want to congratulate you guys and always know that you have a home here and you have people here that care for you at Crystal Lake South that you will always be a Gator. And one last time, no!